In this video, we will talk about skin effect and proximity effect of wires. If you think that the resistance of a wire with a fixed cross-sectional area and length is constant, think twice. Today, I'm going to show you two ways to change the resistance of a wire without changing it. Here, we have a metal spring that is connected to an LCR meter. The meter is measuring the resistance of the spring, which is about 3.1 ohm. Without touching the wire, I can change the resistance by just changing the setting on the LCR meter, like this. We see that the resistance has increased after I change the setting. Now I will show you one more trick. When I let the spring collapse, the resistance increases. But when I stretch out the spring again, the resistance returns to the values before. Pretty cool, eh? So what's going on here? In the first case, I was actually applying an alternating current through the wire, and I was changing the frequency of it. When the applied frequency is 100 Hz, the resistance is 3.1 Ohm. But when I increase the frequency, resistance increases. So how comes? We have learned in our previous video that the resistance of a wire is given by the resistivity of the material, the length and cross-sectional area of the wire, like this. But as it turns out, the effective cross-sectional area of the wire that the current passes through is not a constant, but depends on frequency. Specifically, when an AC current is applied, a varying magnetic field is generated along the wire. This varying magnetic field induces an eddy current inside the wire, and it will cancel out the applied current in the middle of the wire. As a result, the AC current will be concentrated on the outside surface of the wire. This is known as skin effect, and the effective shell where most current flow is known as the skin depth. Skin depth can be given by an equation like this, with the square root of the frequency in the denominator. So we see that at higher frequency, skin depth is smaller. The effective cross-sectional area is then smaller, and therefore resistance is larger. To get a better idea of how big is the skin effect, we can calculate the skin depth for a copper wire. At 50 Hz, skin depth is about 1 cm. But if we increase to 1000 Hz, skin depth decreases to about 0.2 cm. It is further reduced to about 0.01 cm at 400,000 Hz. Let us now take a look at our measured data to see if they make sense. I have plotted here the logarithm of the resistance versus the logarithm of the applied frequencies of our wire. When the applied frequency is small, the resistance is constant. This is because the wire diameter is smaller than the skin depth, so the entire wire can be used to conduct electricity. As frequency increases, skin depth decreases. At a point where the wire size is similar to skin depth, we start to see an increase in resistance. At higher frequency, skin depth is small, and the AC resistance of the wire can be approximated to this, which is proportional to the square root of the frequency. We can see from the graph that at high frequency, the slope of the log-log plot is 0.5, which is consistent with the theory. In general, AC resistance is higher than DC because of the reduction of cross-sectional area for electricity conduction. Now we understand that the resistance of the wire depends on how the current is distributed within it. Then why does the resistance increase further if I let the spring collapse? This is known as proximity effect, and happens when the wires are close to each other. The theory behind the proximity effect is the same as that of the skin effect. The magnetic field generated from an AC current does not only influence the current within the wire itself, it can also interact with neighboring wires if they are too close together. Eddy current will be generated in the neighboring wire, causing a distribution of current inside it. If the currents of the two wires are in the same direction, the proximity effect will push the current away from each other in the wires. If the currents are in opposite direction, then only the areas closest to the wires conduct electricity. Overall, 
The proximity effect further reduces the effective cross-sectional area of the wires used for conducting current and therefore increases resistance. Proximity effect only occurs if the wires are close together. This is why when the spring is stretched out, there is no proximity effect and the resistance is low. When we collapse the spring, the wires get closer together and the resistance increases with proximity. Let us plot our data to see how big are the different effects on the resistance of the wire. When the wires are far apart, only skin effect is observed. When we decrease the wire distance, resistance increases because we now have both skin and proximity effects. Both effects depend on the applied frequency of the signal. You may wonder if the increase in resistance has to do with the increase in inductance of the coil as the coil length is reduced. There is probably some contribution to this, but impedance of an inductor goes with frequencies times the inductance. So if the increase in impedance has an effect, we should also see it at lower frequencies, which is not the case here. Though we do need to study more on this to really find out. Coming back here, interestingly, we cannot find a formula in books or on the internet to describe proximity effect. This is probably because proximity effect depends on the geometry and arrangements of the wire. But from our experiments, we see that proximity effect seems to be more prominent than skin effect. Both skin effects and proximity effects increase the resistance of the coil of wire, especially when the wires are close together. There are in fact many applications, for example transformers, motors, and induction cookers that use coils of wires in them. Both effects will lead to extra power losses from the devices, especially if there are high frequencies harmonics in the applied signal. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of how the resistance of the wire is affected by skin effect and proximity effect. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.